So good afternoon, everyone. My name is Xuan Shengwu, coming from the University of Georgia. So I'm glad to present our latest work whose small language models serve as recommenders toward data-centric CoSA recommendation. So here's the outline of my presentation today. We will first talk about the background of the system CoSA recommendation problem, followed by our naive solution, PromRack. Uh, we then introduce our data-centric enhancement pipeline to improve the PromRack for small language models. Let's start with the background and challenge about this study. Well, this is a typical pipeline of recommendation system. Well, the first uh, uh, developer first collects some user item interactions. So the user preferences could be partially observed from their in interaction with some of the items. And then we can train a model to learn from the to learn the user preferences from the collected data. Finally, the model is used to predict the user interest on other items. So however, this pipeline will break if we do not have any observed interactions. So we call the system co-star recommendation. It's a common challenge for startup businesses. Co-star recommendation has been studied under several different scenarios. We compare them with our focus here. Uh, in this slide, we use a solid line to denote observed in user item interactions. Uh, that and uh, we use a dash line to uh, represent the user item inter interaction to be uh, predicted. Everything draw within the orange box is visible during model training. Otherwise, they will draw within the gray box. So uh, from this visualization, we can see that uh, those traditional CoStar settings typically assume observed user item inter interactions are available during either training or inference. Uh, different from these scenarios, we do not assume any observed interactions, no matter during training or inference. So now we'd like to introduce our naive solution for this challenge. Uh, let's consider these questions. Uh, we ask a human like, uh, we have a male customer coming from China, will he prefer ping pong or baseball? Well, the man probably will guess the ping pong, right? He can make this uh, prediction because he can use his knowledge and learn from this world. Well, this example shows that universal knowledge uh, helps the human make a decision in different domains, even without domain-specific training. To make the decision-making process automatically, we want an AI model to replace the human and take the role of decision-makers. The premise is that such an AI model should have learned the universal knowledge. Following this idea, we propose a simple but effective method called PromRec uh, to develop a from Rack system, we will first leverage a human expert to prepare some templates, sentiment vocabulary set, and feature verbalizers. Well, for example, the user template can be designed as the player is a, and it follows with age, gender, and occupation slots. Those slots will be filled with the user information later. Uh, in particular, the task template has a special blank token mask. A uh, pre-trained language model will ask the to will be asked to fill this blank with some chosen sentiment words. Uh, in our study, we only consider two sentiment words, the word positive and the word negative. Uh, the expert may also design some feature verbalizers. Those verbalizers could describe those numerical values with a nature language. So during the inference, we fill the template with the user and IT information. Uh, firstly, we use the predefined feature verbalizer to preprocess their feature values and then fill the slots of templates with their verbalized feature values. Uh, here example of the render user item prompt. In this example, we have put all the knowledge about user and item within the same context. And we successfully uh, transform the recommendation task as a sentiment analysis task. Finally, the user item prompt is fed into a pre-trained language model. The model will return the probability of the word presenting at the mask position under this context. A higher probability of predicting positive sentiment words means that the language model believes the user li will like this item. Through our experiments, we find that large language models work well with PromRec. However, small language models fail. Uh, since our focus here is recommendation system, we are very sensitive to the latency. So we ask, could small language model be an in-contact recommender for our task? We propose a data-centric pipeline to enhance a small language model in contact learning ability to solve these problems. Before introducing the proposed method, we first formalize the in-contact recommendation problems. Well, 
under the Plumbras setting and the Heide Markov model assumption, the original objective of recommendation task can be transformed to a new form on the right hand side shown here. This new equation shows that a good in conduct recommenders need to encourage the Petrin language model to maximize each probability defined here. This analysis motivated us to propose the two strategies to maximize this equation. The first one is for training language model on a corpus that correlated to our target costar domain. The second one is for training prompting templates from other recommendation they set. Well, here the correlated corpus referred to the training data, which has a chance to modify the model parameters. While the prompting template is a kind of inference data, which reshapes the model output without changing model parameters. For the first strategies called the Refining Corpus for Model Pre-Training, RCMP in short, is motiv motivated by the fact that those rare or domain-specific words are difficult to be understood by small language models. We prove that this gap can be filled with a further pre-training the model on an additional domain-specific corpus. Well, specifically, uh, assuming there's a document W, uh, which con uh, containing both the user item information and their sentiments word, uh, we show that training the model on these documents, uh, we can actually maximize the in-contact recommendation objective to this user item pair as well. However, the challenge to apply this uh, idea is the how we can constructing the uh, domain-specific corpus C star. Our solution start with assuming that we have a large and general corpus C is available. The corpus includes the document related to our CoStar domain, such as a document about a negative sentiment of a young daughter to his father's Phyllis Razor. However, this general corpus C also includes the redundant documents, such as a wiki page about the New York City. Well, since small language models have a limited parameters to memorize knowledge, uh, training our, uh, those small language models on such a large corpus cannot help them adopt to our CoStar domain. To overcome these problems, we have to select those domain documents out. To do so, we first introduce a synthetic uh, corpus Z covering all possible knowledge that can be used in our CoStar domain. Z can be constructed by exhausting all possible values of the user item feature space and their the sentiments, uh, possible sentiment words. The relation among Z, C, and C star are visualized here. We can see that Z is not fully included by C. That is because Z may include some unrealistic situation that haven't been presented on real world uh, corpus. Given Z and C, it's intuitive that the documents from the overlapping area are those we are interested in. Uh, thus, we propose to select the K documents from C that can maximize the mutual information between C and Z. With some derivation, we find that this selection objective actually can be easily estimated by uh, open source fine-tuned model coming from Hugging Face. Now let's move on to the second strategies, transferable prompt pre-training, TPPT in short. We consider the knowledge enhanced by prompting template can be categorized into two groups, uh, namely the task prompt and the domain prompt. The task prompt describes what we expect the language model to do. Particular to our paper, it refers to the sentiment analysis task. Also, the domain prompt describes the topic of a certain example. Uh, it's obviously that the task prompt is transferable across the different domains, while each domain prompt works at a certain domain. Assuming that we have a user item interactions from M other domains, we could learn the optimal task and domain prompts via gradient descent on those the source domains. However, how can we learn those uh, the target domain prompt for our CoStar domain without any training data? Well, uh, since the definition of the domain and task prompt are clear, be, are clearly defined, the, we propose to learn the domain and task prompts sequentially. That is, we first consider the extracted keywords from each domain as their domain prompt, and then carrying those domain prompts as known to train the task prompt based on the user item interaction from all domains. Uh, we could apply the same keyword extraction method to, to obtain the domain prompt of the CoStar co domain, and then use our pre-trained task prompt for our final prediction. 
let's see the experiment's result. Our experiments focus uh focus on investigating two research questions. The first is about can PromRec make a recommendation under the system costa setting? The second is could uh, RCMP and TPPT help the PromRec be adapted to small language models? To answer these questions, we introduced the first benchmark on evaluating system costa recommendation. This benchmark is developed on top of existing public recommendation data set as, as summarized in the table here. We applied the PromRec on four different language model families, including BERT, GPT-2, T5, and LAMA. The recommendation performance is evaluated by group AUC. So notice that uh, since the metric is a variation of the ROC AUC score, so the random guess performance should be around 50%. So this is the performance of PromRec and some baseline strategies uh, for our system costa setting. We can first notice that almost all baselines stands around 50%, meaning that they almost fail to provide a personalized recommendation. So, uh, however, we can obs also observe that PromRec works well with the all four model families. It demonstrates the strong generalizability of the proposed PromRec. So in the second experiment, we focus on very small language models. Uh, those language models only with uh, a few million parameters. We can observe that for those small language models, naive the prom rack may not always be useful for them. However, we can also observe that both RCMP or TPPT can include the naive prom rack. This figure shows the trade-off between recommendation performance and the inference time. So comparing our best model with the same small language models under naive prom rack, we can observe a significant improvement in terms of the effectiveness. Comparing our best enhanced small uh, the model with the larger models that under uh, naive prom rack, we can also observe a significant faster inference speed while keeping comparable performance. To summarize, we have set benchmark for the system costa problem and shown that small language models can become to a great recommenders with our proposed data centric strategies. Uh, for more details about this work, please check out our paper and GitHub.